Hi, <clears throat> this is Ocean, back again for the Free Thinkers Report on the 16th of September 2020. Here in the UK we're basking in hot sunny days, a veritable Indian summer, but I'm thinking of all those people caught up in the fires in California. Some people say they're natural, but others are saying they were intentionally started by arsonists and quite a few have been arrested. So, let us get to the items. Item 1. Big picture perspective. For this one, I would like to try to summarise the latest downloads received by Magenta Pixie on the shifting timelines, or where we are in the timeline setup. Um, I will leave links to the four YouTubes that she's already created. Each one is over one well, one and a half hours long or something like that. Um, and there's a fifth one planned, would you believe? The names are, the first one was Kali Yuga into the photon belt, Atlantis diamond codes. Then the next one was the 4D domain, silver cores and disintegration of the negative elite worlds. The third one was life in the fourth density, future earth geology and neon kingdoms. And the fourth is the US election ascension connection. So as you can see, I'm, I'm fascinated by these. I think she does a brilliant presentation, explains so much about uh, the big picture. And from this, you have to see it in a multi-dimensional way, which is all time and all space is all in coming out of what you might call something like the zero point. And we're um, on Pacific timelines. We're all um, in our own sort of timeline setup. So we're all making choices making decisions which affect our own individual timelines. But there's a collective timeline which is all heading into what I would call a nexus point, but she calls, I think, um, the diamond core sort of uh, point where they all meet. And that is inevitable. <laughs> so in a way, uh, whichever way the election goes and so on, it doesn't actually matter because it just depends on time. So the quicker route through to the ascension to the diamond core template is if Trump gets elected. But if he doesn't, you don't need to worry because one way or another, we will still get to the ascension. It's inevitable. And of course, to fully understand it, you need to understand what the diamond core is. And this is sort of a a way of describing um, the, the change in our, well, actually it's fundamental geometry or sound, if you like, or the, the way in which the entire um, virtual reality is constructed. And the old structure had an iron core, and this is to do with the Kali Luga, and we're still in that, um, we still have some remnants of the iron core structures and those will are slowly but surely disappearing. This is the takedown of the deep states and the elites. Um, we still have them, but they, the whole structure that they're working with, the iron core, won't survive the, the, the shift that's happening. Um, and we're shifting into what's called the diamond core, the diamond light. It's got actually 12 solar lights. It's an amazing uh, new energy that's coming in. Um, as we pass through this part of the photon belt, which is where we are in, in the galaxy. It sounds pretty huge, this, but, um, well, it is huge. So um, we're entering an extremely special part of uh, our own ascension, our own evolution as humanity, um, where we will rise into what's called fifth dimensional consciousness. But before then, we go through very quickly fourth dimensional consciousness and this jump of two densities is uh, has never been attempted before and we are actually doing it and we're doing extremely well um, despite all the um, uh, stuff that's in the news and everything um, we are on the ascension timeline in the paradise timeline um, the armageddon timeline the one that deep state wants which has got a third world war in it um, isn't going to manifest um, despite all their structures, because the best they can achieve would be a silver core structure, um, which would be a sort of a perversion of the diamond core structure, and it won't do what they want it to do. So they've lost. End of story. End of. So if you have time, I would recommend watching 
these four amazing um, downloads that she's um, explanations or clarifications of the download she received from the council the white wing collective council of nine i think she calls the group that she um uh, has explained all this from this big picture perspective or multi-dimensional perspective um, I really like a presentation but uh, not everybody's got over six hours time to spend listening to um, the explanations so uh, hopefully my summary covers it but if you want more detail you need to go to the original source which is Magenta Pixie. So item two geophysical and astrological energetics so for this one, I would like to mention a, another YouTube channel, Laurie Ladd, that I've come across recently. And she's done a super set of vi videos explaining about the energetics for this time. And the way she has put it is um, preparing for 2021. We're kind of like in a bit of a, a lull period. It might not seem like that, but the, the big changes are going to happen next year when we get disclosure. And I've got a little plan for um, a disclosure project. I'm going to actually ask all my friends and um, Pete on contacts and so on um, whether they would want full disclosure now. I the disclosure be everything that's happened, that all the information that's been hidden from us, or whether we need partial disclosure. And if so, which ones are the key ones, like extraterrestrial involvement, um, the new technologies the mass arrest, the paedophilia, the the Vatican, you know, what which ones would you put forward first? Or don't you understand what disclosure is? I mean, there's obviously a third option for people who aren't aware of what's happening. Um, so, uh, yeah, that particular video that I'm recommending, prepare for 2021, um, and what to do, you know, personally, um, which is to maintain the highest frequencies that you can be in your sovereign nature, be, be present, um, which is very well explained by Laura Ladd. It's only about 24 minutes. That's a bit of an easy one to to watch. And that's um, all the link is also down below. So for item three, suggested spiritual practice. For this one, I thought I would mention uh, crystal grid work which can be done in many many different ways and one of the ways uh, we're currently busy with is the planetary city of light for York. This is um, under the auspices of the group of 40 which is a group set up by David Miller um, sort of uh, brought who's bringing forward Giuliano and, and others from the Arcturian system I mean, the Arcturians, they're just really beautiful people that are helping us through our ascension process. And he's many, many different um, spiritual practices and technologies and so on. One of them is the Planetary City of Light. And the many have been set up around the world in South America, in, Ameri in USA, Canada and Europe and so on. But there's very few in the United Kingdom, which is a bit remiss of us. So um, a group of us have uh, started the process of setting one up for York in um, Yorkshire, um, in the Kingdom of York. So um, uh, I'll put a link below to the Planetary Healers website I've set up, which explains in more detail what is being done. It started off with an anchor point um, in the Museum Gardens, which is a beautiful gardens we have in York which is very easy to get to because um, part of the process is after the activation of the crystals and um, set up in uh, York uh, a group of us will be visiting the crystals and reactivating them every so often during the year to keep the city of light going the idea is in a city of light um, all sorts of good things happen including the raising the frequency so it will attract higher frequency uh, people and ideas and uh, other projects um, which is really very exciting particularly as York has been selected by Boris Johnson as a potential site for the House of Lords and other people from the uh, people the government um, to come to York whilst the Houses of Parliament the Palace of Westminster it's called which is actually in a bad way and needs major repair work and whilst that repair work is going on they need to relocate somewhere else 
Um, unfortunately, the repair group that are organising it have said it's not their decision, so it's up to the MPs to decide where they rebase themselves during the repair work. And one of the main sites that they've selected is York. So we could be um, uh, the recipients of seeing various uh, lords wandering around our street, which should be rather fun. Anyway, we can always hope. <laughs> So thank you again for listening to this and um, keep on listening and like and subscribe. Thank you very much. God bless.